I was sitting there, almost paralyzed. My dad was about to come in from work. If he knew I got an F on my test, he would ground me for life. I also didn't want my brothers to come home from college. They made fun of me because I was left-handed. Everyone made fun of me. I had one friend. Her name was Sarah. She was my best friend. She never made fun of me. But one day that changed. I was in high school and Sarah came up to me and said, why are you left-handed? That's not cool. That's actually weird. You're also a nerd. That made my heart sink. Then I came home with my test. It had an F on it. So I did not want to be a nerd anymore. My friends were always so mean, or my only friend. So then I had no friends. Well, one day in high school, I met this boy. His name was Liam. And he, I had the crushies on him. He was so cute. He also smiled at me a lot. When I, the first time I talked to him, all I said was, hi, I like your clothes today. And he said, yeah, thanks. Yours are pretty cool too. And then I told him, you may, you may think I'm weird, but I'm actually left-handed. Then Liam said, and it made my heart open. It, I think it's cool that you're left-handed. I can use both hands. Then I said, that's really cool. Then he walked away and I never saw him for the rest of the day. At lunch, I sat all alone. But the principal came up to me and said, Natalie, come with me. So I went with the principal. She, she seemed happy. So I thought I was in trouble. But then, well, so did I thought. Then, she said, you are going to have to be suspended for a month because you're because you're left-handed. And I told myself, why? Because I'm just left-handed. It's okay to be left-handed. It's not like it's a big deal. Did she think I didn't have any handwriting? Because I did have any handwriting. She was being so rude. I went home and then I went to show my dad the F. That's when I felt like I was paralyzed. He seemed mad. He came up to me and said, Honey, where is your test? Your mother isn't coming home anytime soon. Then I handed the test to him so slowly that, that you probably would think it was in slow motion. I handed it to him and he saw the F. Then he said, what the heck happened to your smartness? You have been so smart ever since you were two. Then I said, then I burst into tears. <laughs> My friends are making fun of me. Everyone is, except Liam, this really cute guy I like. Please don't hit me with your belt. Then my dad said, well honey, I'm going to do it anyways because this is unacceptable behavior. And I started crying and went to my room. Right before dinner, my brothers got home. 
then I asked, where's mom? And they said, she brought, she has her car. She, she got, has her car at work. So, so then I said, well, I'd rather have mom than you, brothers. It was right before supper when a cop came to our house. Her name was Maria, and she had told, she had just told us our mother had died in a car accident. And then she said it wasn't her fault. The, the people who caused the accident are going to pay for her health insurance. And then I realized we wouldn't get that much money anymore. So then I asked Dad, who's going to work for, who, how, who's going to get a job? My oldest brother, Sam, said, I'm going to get a job. I'm really close to graduating college early. Then I said in my head, you're really that smart. Then my and then my youngest brother, who's still older than me and also in college, said, I'm going to get a little job at McDonald's. His name was Jack. So then they started working at McDonald's, and, and Sam got mom's job and then I was still in high school with Liam me and Liam started dating a lot then one day he proposed I was so happy it was after I graduated though I was in my third year of college. I was almost done. I was going to be a doctor. And while I was in medical school, we got married. And now we have three kids. Maria, Sarah, and Judy. They were the best ch children and my brother Sam but then my brother Sam got cancer and he died so Liam took his place in mom's job and and Jack was so sad they were best friends but we lived happy after that <laughs>